All right, guys, let's uh, continue on where we left off. And I'll show you what I did a little bit off camera. I got this thing in here. Let's look at the. Ooh. How does that look? That looks all right. It's hanging down about an inch from there, so that should give me plenty of weld room. Remember, I have screw room to put a screw in the top and then one on the bottom. So that should work out good. I welded it. Just slapped it along the edge there into the frame over there. And boy, that's super strong because I rolled the edge twice. Remember if you saw the last video. Um, so that it has a nice strong edge to when you put your screws in, it won't be moving around. So let's uh, keep moving. I also did this, welded this thing in. So now it's part of the frame too. So the, I don't know which side there's that prop rod. I just thought about that. Um, I think there's a prop rod on these. Yeah, there's gotta be. So I gotta put one on. And I know I have the, I think I had two of those mechanisms. So I'll get that put on once I find it. Or figure out how to do it on there. I thought they would go hook up to something up here, but there's nothing there, so I don't know. Figure that out. Okay, look at some pictures. All right, we're gonna make that panel, the other panel, and that one over there. Then that should wrap up, you know, and the little pieces for down in the corner here. I can make those in a couple minutes pretty much. Take me longer to grind them than make them. The other thing that I need to do to finish up the back is put these in. And I, I got to get that pump bracket and all that just kind of lay it out. Because I think I'm a little off on my on where these were. You know, this one's got erased. So, where the X was there. So, yeah, I got to figure that out again. And then I think they're the same distance, but I got to really... Double check it because that has to be in the right place for the pump to work. I don't know if it has slides. I got to look at the bracket. That's one of the reasons I haven't put those in yet. And thanks to a subscriber comment. I looked on their website before. I did not see that they had them. Um, in fact, I look. I searched for um, what was it? I searched for a treasure chest uh, door uh, skin or treasure chest i just put treasure chest in and sip one's a website and it didn't come up so it was in parentheses so, so for some reason it didn't trigger a keyword to find it so i didn't think they had them uh, somebody mentioned that the, the check sip one they did have it they are sending one out so hopefully i mean i didn't when i ordered it i don't know that they were open and i don't know if i've got a confirmation email that said they had it in stock Hopefully they have the skin for this. That'll save me a lot of time and just make it a lot easier. I just, you know, making this thing, the skin for this would be just a pain. Especially when I know when I weld here, it's going to warp, you know, that flat metal. So the, the one I'm going to have to do, I still have to narrow it. Remember, I have to narrow that one. But all I have to do is just cut off the end and then it'll probably cut off where the hole is on here. I don't know. It, maybe it'll be right here or something. And I'll have to weld that up and then open up a hole for the hinge for this. So it won't be that hard to do. It'll be a lot easier to do that. So thank you guys uh, for those comments. Those comments really help, you know, keep me motivated and give me some ideas sometimes for things I'm doing. Sometimes they get to me a little bit too late, but it's never too late. You know, it's always good because what happens is somebody else reads it. Let's say they're they're doing the same type of repair and they read some comments and they see it later they may clue in and go and take a little shortcut it does help so don't forget to make those comments
all done got this thing pretty good here um this here what i'm going to do is put the panel out and then kind of straighten it a little bit more it's easier to straighten when it's on because it's nice and stiff it doesn't move around like it does when i'm on the table but i just got it you know generically in the spot and then i think what i'm going to do is actually um use uh an adhesive caulking um you know uh, uh yeah, they have a, a few different ones from automotive grade. You could get, you know, they have, you know, all the uh, seam sealers are adhesive typically. Um, but there's ones that are better than others. I use um, OSI Quad. It's available at like Home Depot and stuff like that. It pretty much does the same thing. It holds windows in. Um, you know, if it's strong enough to hold a window, I think it'll hold this thing to this thing. And it'll last for years and years. And it also is paintable urethane caulk so it works pretty good so i'm going to probably just put that on with that and then it's flexible and then it doesn't have any it won't so i weld it it'll you know have little spot welds to fill it'll probably warp a little bit so i was just thinking about that i might just do it that way i'll get the panel on and then check it i don't know for sure how i'm going to do it but anyway just thought i'd 
tell you about that real quick. So that's on. All this stuff is ready. The only thing I need to do is I got to find that rocker. I don't know where it's at. Right now, I'll find it here in a minute. And you put that rocker on over there, then almost everything's done back here. I'm trying to think. There's a few more things I wanted to do. I definitely want to take this piece. I think I'm going to take this off and then just bend my piece and then just weld it in the seam. I don't know if it's going to really save me any time because I've got a patch down there and, you know. It might be easier just to just cut that thing off and just put it in there the right way. You know, maybe I'll end up with a little bit funky gap, but you can always fake that in with a little bit of filler. Yeah, that one's not bad. Oh yeah, then I need to do these. Uh, make those little triangles for those corners. A few little things. I need to shrink some of this metal back here. It's kind of bowed. When I cut those out, these corners are pretty roached out. So I just got to do a little bit of shrinking there on this one. This one here, you can see it's like, you know, it's kind of comes way out. So I got to shrink that up a little bit and then bring that back in. And then I'll be ready for filler, I suppose. But, you know, again, I don't know when I'm going to start filling stuff. I'm going to try and maybe fill some of the stuff in the back. I need to do that before I actually paint anything inside, right? So, and I, I need to paint this probably before I finish up some of the cap stuff. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to probably do the nose next, you know, once I get this done. And, yeah. The problem with doing the nose is, uh, in, in in this space, I had to push this thing way back and or work kind of outside. Because see how close it is here? There's a lot of, I got a lot of stuff in here right now. And it's kind of close. Not enough room to work there, so... You know, that's one of the issues why I haven't started that yet. Uh, and it's just so hot out right now still. Well, I mostly got this thing on. I got to do a bunch of work to it still. This didn't line up very good. Um, so anyway, these are the cheap ones. I'll just do a little bit of work to that. But I can't do it over here. It's just too hard to do. I can't see. So I need to get it outside where I can work on it for that little stuff. And I need to make my centerpiece of a divider. I almost forgot about it for a minute there. I knew I got to make it. Um, let's take a look at that, see if we can make it. Okay, I got you guys peeking through the little hole. This is the fender wall right here. So you can see the wider on the bottom, narrower on the top. So you guys can see better than me. But on right here, I've got to make sure that I'm not wider than where it starts to go up right here or go up over there. So I'm going to measure that, make it wide on the bottom. So I marked it and it goes from four inches down to two inches. So what I'm going to do is make that the outside diameter. So that's where my bins have to start. I need to cut the piece and uh, at least an inch wider than that an inch and a quarter or something. I have to figure that out. So I'll cut a piece, a triangle piece, inch and quarter or an inch. Mm, let me see, one, half inch, half inch, an inch wider, oh no, two inches wider for each side. So I got a uh, half inch and half inch bend on each side. So I got to go to two inches wider than that. And then it's 11 and a half tall between those two areas. And then I need an extra, Looks like um, an inch on the bottom and an inch on the top. So 11 and a half, so 12 and a half inches. Better make it 13 just to be safe. All right, so I gotta cut the piece out like that and then I'll bend it up and make that piece.
right, guys. There you go. Let's take a look at this side. It looks kind of like the original one, I think. I, I've only seen... I saw the one I took out, and I don't really... I just kind of went by memory. So, I think it'll work. The gate, the things will fit, for sure. Um, and I think it's about the right size. I think it looked just like that. But, can't say I don't have it. So, anyway, that's it for that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed all the metal forming. I thought that would be kind of fun to put in the video. I figured out a way to do it and, you know, make it so that it's editable. Uh, so I just was trying to figure some of that out. Um, hopefully it came out right. Some of that I think will be in, if you really want to figure out how long it really took me to make them, um, it'll probably be in like, the, I think maybe eight times, but I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know until so I put it in the editor and try it and see. But something like that. Um, so, but if you figure each one of those pieces really didn't take me that long, you know, the pieces for the side, the middle one was the hardest because it didn't fit in the bender and I had to, you know, do it a few different times and all that. And it was just because of the size of it. But these ones here fit in there. No problem. They were very easy to make. You know, I don't think it even took me an hour each. I don't think so. Uh, the middle one took me about, uh, close to an hour altogether including welding it in and everything so that's not bad a little less than that maybe 45 minutes so that's how long that stuff takes but it's just there's so much of it this took a while to make that took a while to do so uh, but anyway i think that will do it up here I, I again i gotta go out of town again yeah and yeah as soon as i got back i already had a job scheduled that I do every year, so I've got to go back into Palm Springs and go do work. So it's hot out there. I've been, I wait for it to cool down just enough, but the, you know, the, I have to have it done by October. So I, you know, I kind of wait till the last minute, but I kind of wait for that cool weekend in September, and we haven't had it yet. Looks like it, this week is supposed to cool down. I mean, it warmed up to about 90 today, so I guess that's about 100 out there. So it'll be a little warm, but anyway, that's it for that. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make those comments. Love to see those comments rolling. And uh, like those other comments. Like the comments you like, too, as well. It really does help, guys. Thanks. Talk to you in the next video.